Welcome back to Jeep and TV. Today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Valkyrie drive shaft bearing skid plate and the ATP drive shaft bearing skid plate. Uh, I'm going to be going over the pros and the cons of each one of them, how much they cost, and the weight differences between the two. So first off, we're going to go with the Valkyrie plate. The Valkyrie plate uh, is both $144.95 or $169.95 depending on the option of if you want it to be non-powder coated to where you can paint it yourself or if you want to have it to where it comes like this to where you don't have to do it yourself. It's already done if you don't want to do a color option. It has four drainage holes on the bottom and two vents on each side. Okay, So the vents are going to let out excessive heat if there is any buildup whatsoever and these drainage holes are going to allow for it to flow better coming out. Uh, it is made from 316 steel. It has got 45 degree uh, approach and departure angles to where it doesn't get caught or snagged. It is an easy installation. It takes like literally five minutes. Let's see, it comes with all the hardware that you'll need. Uh, it replaces the stock Trailhawk one, and if you have any other model besides the Trailhawk, you will not actually have one. It was definitely highly recommended if you plan to take it off roading. Uh, it fits also the second gen Compass, the newest model that came out back in 2017, which is basically a bigger Renegade. And it is designed here in the US of A. Okay, some of the cons is that it catches more mud than the OEM one, but that is one that both actually have issues with. And it does not have the small brackets that the ATP one has, which they had done for structural support. Now, whether if that's necessary or not is still up for debate because his does not and he has not. I've spoken to him. He has not had any such issues uh, come about. That is not had any issues whatsoever other than the fact that someone did not like the emblem on the bottom. Okay, so moving on to the ATP plate. It is $169.95 to be exact. It is manufactured and designed here in the US of A. Both of them are. This also fits all the models up to the 2018. We will check for the 2019 for both of these, but it should fit considering the 19s only get in facial refreshes and a couple new motors. Uh, it is also made out of the 316 plate steel. It easily installs in minutes. It only comes in powder coat. So if you wanted to paint it your own color, you'd have to pay the $169 and color it something else. Unlike where you can pay the $144 and get a raw one from Valkyrie. Uh, it comes with a middle brace, which we will go over later. And it has a small braces on the outer side for the structural support, like I mentioned, that the Valkyrie one doesn't have. Whether if that be just an extra add on, we don't know yet because through testing we have seen, we've had no issues. So some of the cons for the ATP plate is there's no raw finish. Okay, so if you wanted to paint it, you gotta pay full price for it and just paint whatever you want. Uh, the location of the four drain holes can be a point where it can get snagged. There is some paint chipping on this one to where we had tested that it had obviously gotten snagged on the corner and the paint had been taken off. Um, the premature, okay, so the plate in the middle, this has been, a real controversy issue upon if it's necessarily needed. From research upon the bearing, there has been no premature failure to where this would be needed. The point of this is you have your muffler on one side and you have your drive shaft bearing on the other to help disperse heat and get it away. So far there is no issues uh, with that from the Valkyrie one, where if that be because the emblem's on the bottom for the ventilation to get out better or not. Um, and it catches more mud, just like the Valkyrie one. Uh, that's going to be an issue with both of them over the factory Trailhawk one that you can buy also because the OEM one, it doesn't have any of this protection in the front. So that's why you upgrade to the better one being also 316 steel. The OEM one is only 8th inch steel and it will bend incredibly easy. Going back towards weight. So the Valkyrie one came out at 8.5 pounds. So it's going to be a lot nicer when it comes to overall weight of the vehicle, but it is only a pound and a half lighter than the ATP one. A pound and a half overall is not going to make that big of a difference. Um, so it just really comes down to whichever one you prefer. 
can I recommend one or the other? I cannot. They're both incredible plates. They both do their job very well. It just depends on what you want. The, as you can see, the Valkyrie one is shorter than the ATP one because uh, it's not going to catch up nearly as often. This is going to get caught a little bit more often. It's not as angled on the sides as the Valkyrie one, but overall, they're both going to do the exact same job, and that's protecting the bearing on your drive shaft, which is what you wanted and bought for. So they're both going to be up to your personal preference on companies. I've used Valkyrie, I've used ATP, they're both great. This is up to your decision. I'll put a poll in the video if possible, if not on Instagram upon which one y'all like more and leave in the comments down below which one you like more. If you have any questions on these, I have individual installations of both of them and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you got any comments, like and subscribe, leave them down below and stay tuned for the next one. There's a moment in your bones when, when the fire takes over, blood is running.